Ladies and gentlemen, from the O2 Arena here in London, this is our special attraction of the evening, brought to you by Eddie Hearn from Matchroom Boxing in association with David Hay and Haymaker Promotions, live on Sky Sports, Box Office, and The Zone, sponsored by William Hill, StubHub, Wow Hydrate, Voltrell, and JD Sports. British Boxing Board of Control Stewart in charge, Mick Collier. Timekeeper at the bell, Nick White. WBO Supervisor, John Handlar. The three judges scoring, Steve Gray, Gregors Molenda, and Valerio Mosca. And inside the ring, the referee in charge of the action at the bell, championship veteran referee, Howard Foster. And now 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant. WBO Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing with his trainer Joe McNally and wearing red, official weight, 18 stone, 12 pounds, 4 ounces. This Olympic bronze medalist, now as a professional, has a record of 25 victories. 20 of those 25 victories by knockout, with six defeats, he comes to us from Liverpool, United Kingdom, former WBA Continental Heavyweight Champion, King David <laughs> And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Steve Rosen, wearing white with gold, officially weighing in at 18 stone, eight pounds, three ounces. As a professional, he has 31 victories, including 22 big wins by knockout, nine defeats from Finchley, London, United Kingdom, former two-time international heavyweight champion, Derek Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both you watch your heads in close, good luck to you both. Touch gloves. And we are on the cusp then of this all British heavyweight encounter. Two men on winning runs in 2019. Two veterans more than a decade in the professional ranks. Derek Chisora made his pro debut 2007. David Price. 2009 off the back of an Olympic medal. He had that stratospheric rise in his early years, uh, Darren Barker, as did Del Boy Chisora, but both have ultimately been exposed on the biggest stage, but both looking to prove they've got something left uh, to offer tonight. And will David Price be able to utilise the height and range, seven and a half inches tall, a ten, eight inch reach advantage on Del Boy Chisora? Don't blink, because <laughs> you might miss it. Here we go. And uh, the question is, uh, as Chisora lands a couple of jabs uh, early on, whether David Price will take true confidence from the victory over Dave Allen that you saw first-hand from the corner. What did, what did impress you that night about David Price? When you... Just the way he was so disciplined, Ed, and, and stuck to a, to a game plan. A shot that was really worked well for him against Dave Allen was the, the right uppercut as Dave walks in. I expect him to try and throw that against the shorter Chisora as he walks in. He does have an open guard at times, Chisora, so David Price will look for that right uppercut. Yeah, nine losses on his record for Derek Chisora. Arguably the most exposed in the rematch to Tyson Fury, where he's boxed by a bigger man at range. Often boxing south for six feet nine inches tall, but uh, already able to get a little bit closer to David Price than he was Fury that night, or indeed Vitaly Klitschko back in 2012 when he had his world title shot against the towering uh, Ukrainian at six feet, uh, seven and a half inches tall, short right there, and just buzzed David Price momentarily, it seemed, from the corner. Going to work on the body, David Price said he would face this moment where Chisora was up close with him, but perhaps wouldn't want it to come in the opening minute and 20 seconds of the first round. Exactly what I expected here, sorry, exactly what I expected here from Chisora to come straight and get on the chest of David Price. At the, at the press conference, sorry, Ed, you know, he alluded to the fact that he doesn't rate himself as a boxer much. He's not going to step, you know, sort of stand back and try and outbox David Price. But that good left hook from David Price went in there. It was a low initially from 
there at Chisora, David Price coming with a nice short left hook. In some sense that the fifth defeat of David Price's career actually against Alexander Povetkin in the spring of last year is actually what restored his confidence because he rocked Povetkin with that left hook, he didn't did. he? And it's proved to be something that Joe McAnally, his trainer, is, is working on utilising as well as the big right hand we've always known about. Well, it was such a shame, you know, when he delivered that shot against Povetkin, it was right at the end of the round, you know. If there had been another 30 seconds, who knows what could have happened. Yeah. But here we are. Povetkin came, came, on to, came on to knock out David Price and Chizora looking to do the same. Chizora galvanised his career in the summer of 2018. Down on the cards against Carlos Takam with a big knockout against the gatekeeper of uh, world heavyweight boxing, Carlos Takam. More explosive than Anthony Joshua certainly was against Takam. But then he had the loss to Dillian White in the rematch. And he's uh, looking to rebuild once more Darren Barker. Positive start from both men here. Chizora coming forward, but... David Price more than happy to mix fire with fire. He's got that cute jab, hasn't he, Price? It seems to work almost into a hook that cuffs, cuffs the ears. Yeah, he gets round the, the right up hand of Chisora, and they can be hurtful as the rounds go on. Jab from Chisora does get through there, the body shot from Price as well. And now Is that right uppercut? Chisora felt that. Tried to shake it off, and now he looks to go to work as well. Night difference seen there as he gets against uh, David Price's chest, but Derek Chisora just four pounds lighter on the scales. Eight down, eight pounds as he looks for his 32nd career victory against David Price, who has those six knockout losses, Darren. It was a sad story up in 2013. He was almost a forerunner of Anthony Joshua as Olympic hero. Then he ran into the American Tony Thompson, who was later to be found under the influence of performance enhancing drugs. Two knockouts and just shook his confidence for a, a number of years. He's got those six stoppage losses on his record. How much is it a question of psychology with David Price tonight? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. We know that David Price went, but things are going his way and he's confident in a very, very dangerous fight. Equally, you know, he, he can, can get sometimes the opponent can get the better of him when it comes to psychological mind games, etc. But he looks switched on here. And it was a good round. Here. You know, both had good success there. But it was a good, positive, disciplined display from David Price. Well, Bolden knew that, that from Price's perspective, he got those shots off at close quarters and didn't seem to freeze. I'm, I'm impressed by the, the intent to, to throw shots with Chisora. He, he, you know, he's really believing in his power. You know, David Hayes said, other than other than Wilder, David Price is the hardest he's been ever been hit by. So, you know, I think. He's believing in himself and he's throwing some good shots. We were seeing that right uppercut. As I said, he was catching Dave Allen with all night. He's starting to throw it against Chisora. He's coming back with a left hook. Yeah, Chisora looking to go to the body with the big swinging shots and looking to muster his way back into a situation that maybe well be fractured in the heavyweight division, depending on what happens in the Ruiz Jr. and Joshua rematch. Of course, there's the rematch between Fury and Deontay Wilder to come next year, so who knows what opportunities may arise for any heavyweight on the up and in the ascendancy, but David Price rumoured, of course, to have knocked Anthony Joshua out in sparring and had some pretty commendable uh, recommendations to people who have sparred with him and beat Tyson Fury in the amateurs as well, so can box. I roomed with him a lot in the amateurs, David Price, went to the Europeans with him all over the world. He's a great guy, a tremendous boxer, has that great pedigree, as you've alluded on there, and uh, we'll need that tonight, but it's a good positive start for David Price. You know, there's not a high tempo from Chisora, yeah, he is walking forward, yes, but he's not throwing bundles of shots. That was a low left from Chisora there. But yeah. David Price hasn't made a big deal out there. Maybe hard sometimes against the man standing six feet eight inches tall when his midriff is uh, up towards your chest like that. But David Price says at the age of 36, despite those six losses, he feels he's in his prime. He feels that that was always going to be the case and sometimes just got lost. He's talking about staying in the moment, not remembering the, the haunting memories of the past, the knockout losses to Thompson, Erkin Tepper, Christian Hammer, and uh, of course Alexander Povetkin, despite his good moments against him, that ended in a sickening uh, knockout loss. But like you say, he took a lot of confidence from it, and he, you know, he does look like he's full of confidence at the minute, and so he should be, you know, if you're a David Price fan right now, you'd be happy with what you're seeing. You know, the tempo doesn't quite seem to be there of Chisora for whatever reason. Not letting bundles of shots go. Well, mystery is surrounded uh, Derek Chisora's training. He had uh, switched allegiance from his longtime trainer, Don Charles, to Dave Caldwell. It seemed to result in increased conditioning under the management of uh, his former opponent, David Hay, as well. But then, uh, Darren, no Caldwell this time as he looks for that big right hand that has got rid of opponents in the past, swinging over the top and looks to go to work here on on David Price. Took him well though, David Price took the sting out of that right hand, sort of swayed back slightly, took 
took the power out of it. That was a shot that, that brought uh, Carlos Takem to a, a swift end, wasn't it? The, the O2 Arena here to start this momentum of the home support here behind him as well. And Oh, Derek Chisora, the sounds will resonate around this place. David Price down from Liverpool, formerly trained by Dave Caldwell as well. They have that in connection. Dave Caldwell saying he's relieved he didn't uh, train Derek Chisora for this fight because it may well have been split loyalties for him, but now on the uh, on the ropes. A little short uppercut went in from Chisora, nearly dislodged the, the mouthpiece of David Price. Good round. Where do we have it? 1-1. One, one. one apiece there for me. Good stuff from both men. I haven't seen the tempo yet from Chisora. It will start to up, up that pace slightly. Throwing two, ones and twos at the minute, where we like to see him, you know, throw punches in bunches. But David Price will be happy with this so far. You know, he's been quite comfortable. He's been able to tie Derek Chisora up. I do expect him to start trying to throw that right uppercut as Zora comes in, the shorter guy, he does bob and weave and he could walk on to one of those right uppercuts. It's a shot that I'm pretty sure David Price will start trying to look for. And he does like the overhand uh, right to Zora. Of course, he got rid of Arthur Spilker who took uh, Deontay Wilder nine rounds in two rounds. That was an up close, overwhelming on the ropes in his previous match here at the Ocean Arena in July. But do you think the overhand right that, that Zora favours is, is that? more difficult against such a tall <laughs> opponent. Absolutely, you know, you almost have to jump to, to find the chin of David Price, but it is such a dangerous shot for Derek Chisora. Chisora, uh, David Price, I think, potentially having taken some contact there, that that will encourage some confidence as we enter the third round. Many people didn't predict this would go the full 12. Still early on it, the WBO have given it a blessing as Chisora comes forward. Yeah, no, right. to get in the corner. There was that right uppercut, just for a split second, he's right in front of us, Derek Chisora. I just see his legs stiffen. Ever so slightly there. It was a good overhand right from Chisora, the shot you were just talking about in the break, but again, Price was able to take the sting out of it, swayed back. Good entertaining stuff, you just don't know exactly what's going to yeah, happen. These two men have sparred before and they both said they were brutal at, at the time as well, and uh, both very respectful about the other's boxing ability. As we approach the midpoint of the third round, Chisora still stalking forward, perhaps though, has been chased by the shots and. David Price unleashing a couple to the, the head and a right Price. hook. Good work from Price there, shortening up the shots. Another low one in from Chisora there, but it was good work from Price. Threw some nice, short, sharp shots. Chisora looking to go the under uppercut on the left when they're in the clinch as well. Potentially, this could be dangerous times for David Price, and typically he has been undone when smaller men get up close and personal to him down at his chest. I think uh, he's learned from them contests as well. He's done a very, very good job of tying Chisora up, and we see that again. Uh, last time out against Dave Allen, he just tied Dave up. The left hand from Shaw possibly landed there. Price trying to duck out of the way, didn't seem to be too much contact. No, no. So Chisora will come forward, that's the way he fights, and he's not a boxer, despite being a professional boxer since uh, 2007. Moved from Zimbabwe, but very much a proud Brit now. Boxing, he says, say, no, over straight, he comes forward now. Taking a while though, David Price. He has been tagged a couple of times. He hasn't looked troubled. So, so far, showing some durability in there. Yeah, he's pretty phlegmatic, David Price. He says he's been knocked out six times. He knows that he can get knocked out, but he can also knock people out as well. And it, they exchange yeah, shots now to right from Chisora, two rights. And Price tries to come back with that left hook that's proved effective of late. The smuggled body shots again, Darren. They will uh, skirt the the uh, short strapping there. I'm not sure the referee needs to say anything here, you know, clinches do happen. Our Foster experienced referee, of course. Good right hand. Yeah, oh, and a left one from steps back, but he still tries to come forward and attack David Price, but surely was uh, hurt. He responds with uh, aggression, but and now trying to get the right hand away. David Price looking to get out of the way and clinch him up, but. Is this uh, anger to cover up hurt in the part of uh, David Chisora? Still oh, comes forward. Let bombs go now. Chisora lets a left and a right go, and David Price potentially wobbling his inner right. Goes through from Jerry Chisora, he's on the ropes now. Stray hand out to Spalter. Right hand from Price on the bell, and perhaps both of them say. Big finish in the round there for Chisora. David Price was hurt badly from a left hook, I think it was. Really stunned Price. And you could say the bell saved him there. 
But there's that tempo we used off from Chisora. Really forced himself onto David Price. Worked extremely hard there. And landed a good shot. Testament to David Price who didn't go down. He got back to the corner. Almost that spark by success for Price on Chisora that Chisora kind of woke up and, and up the tempo. Yeah, here we see it here. This is it. Overhand right caught the Price on the back of the head. And there it is, right hand. Left hook. It wasn't left hook. There was a right uppercut. Also went in from Price right at the end there. Yep. But he was definitely stunned, David Price, there. A couple of times that Chisora's momentum was stunned and, and stopped by. But that seems the most hurt that any boxer has been. And David Price hits several to the head there. Is that complacency, Darren, after success? Possibly. Switched off for a second. David Price, though, looking now perhaps with the best the right hand. The best defence may well be attacked. It's just all a storm. Sometimes it is, Ed. You know, he seems to have recovered well. Well, Chisora stalking his uh, man again, looking to get him in this corner where he did that damage moments before the bell. Can David Price establish that jab? Can he keep him at distance the way he did Dave Allen in that fight that gave him that really oh, confidence wow. right hand from David Price and a stumble and a step from Chisora? Took it well, Chisora. Stumbled for a second but regrouped. Like I said at the beginning of the contest, do not blink. <laughs> Anything could happen here. There's a right hand that goes over the top from uh, Derek Chisora. I think got caught on the gloves from uh, David Price, but he's looking to just cover up a little bit. You feel the sense that David Price needs to return fire as well as much as possible to keep Chisora from getting this momentum. The body shot goes in from Derek Chisora, and he is just looking to... He's up the tempo, Ed. That's what he's done. He's up the tempo, really forcing himself on David Price out, making David Price work for every inch. Been trained by Steve Broughton, who used to be a strength and conditioning coach. A little bit of uh, mystery over who's been training Derek Chisora, but certainly fitness not being questioned now as he does go through the gears in the fourth round and look to close the distance on David Price, who previously has said that he's been over excited in the change room and, and gassed before he gets in the ring. Hopefully that isn't the case for him tonight. Put up a cut from David Price again. That seems a good shot, down. That seems to be still very successful. And has Price got his senses back? Yeah, he seems fine. A little cupping shots in there, he's hurt. Price there. It was a Price. short hook in there from Chisora. Really troubled Price from the temple. And down he went, Price. It was a good shot from Chisora. Short, sharp, sharp. Well, it's it okay. Uppercut started that flurry from David Price, but he is uh, down to the canvas for the first time, knocked out in the fourth round. And what it's happened, the referee has wow. pulled it off. How would, how would the towels come in? Towels come in. From the Price corner. Joe McAnally in the corner have uh, thrown the towel in. David Price, in the fourth round, suffers his seventh defeat of his career, seventh stoppage loss. Derek Chisora wants to console with him and congratulate with him. Will this be the last time for David Price uh, in the ring? Derek Chisora marches on. It's a significant victory on his CV. 32nd victory, 23rd, by the way, of uh, knockout, Darren. And it was a, a fight that started with intent but really hotted up in the yeah the third tempo, and the tempo was increased by Chisora but it, it makes me wonder you know was there an issue with David Price before the fight the fact that this house come in so so soon there don't get me wrong you know it was a good short shot from Chisora that stunned David Price the legs went but the fact that the towel come in so quickly makes me think that something may have happened in the build-up to this I'm not sure I may be wrong but that was a very abrupt finish, finish. To the contest there. But testament to, to the price corner. If there was an issue or not, they're there to look after their fighter, and that's exactly what he done. He looks okay there, David Price in the corner. He's nodding his head, responding. We'll wait to see any uh, interview afterwards with David Price. Potentially, they will do a, a post-fight interview together. But he was getting some success with the uppercut, as you said. But ultimately wasn't able to use a 10-inch reach advantage. Darren was not able to keep Derek Chisora off his chest, and it was just those short shots, ultimately, rather than the big overhand right, which we associate with Chisora. Ed, don't get me wrong, you know, uh, David Price had some success. You know, a couple of times I feel he stunned Derek Chisora. But as the round started going on, you know, Derek Chisora did start upping the tempo, increasing the work rate, really putting pressure on David Price. And here we see... This is the, there's a very short, short shot there, right, to the right head, on the top. top. We've head. seen David Price vulnerable around that area. It really does scramble your senses and certainly did of David Price. And down he went. He's done the right thing. He took a knee. The, the legs have gone there. We see here on the top, he's gone down. 
And when he stood up, he, you know, he, he did seem OK. It seemed like he regrouped. He was nodding to the referee, saying he was OK. Yeah. But How the corner were having none of it. And Howard Foster being accused of being overly cautious referee, but there you see the towel flying. I thought momentarily the referee had seen enough in David Price's eyes, but there the towel came into the ring, and it is victory for Derek Chisora. What next for David Price at this stage of his career? He argued he was in his prime at 36, Darren, but with a seventh career defeat, and there have been seven knockout losses. That not as savage that we've seen him suffer in the past, but is, uh, is not necessarily the healthiest of activities when you're getting knocked out. It, it, it may be the final call for for David Price there, it was a great, great effort he put up. You know, he did have some success there. And what a great career he has, and if he does choose to, to hang off his gloves, I'm extremely proud of him. He can be extremely, extremely proud of himself, but on goes Derek Chisora. WBO Intercontinental title attached to this. Will that have ramifications as the WBO belt goes on the line with the... Ladies and gentlemen, the end uh, comes rematch. Let's get the, at two uh, minutes of round now. number four as referee Howard Foster calls a halt to the contest. The winner by TKO victory from Finchley, London, Derek Wachesora!